me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, well, it's Friday, so it is Finish It Friday. Finish It Friday, episode number seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last week I drew out of my little container here, I drew out um, the Peanuts kit, the Snoopy kit, I think that's what I said, or Peanuts Snoopy kit, I think. Anyway, it's this kit right here. This is the outer box. Um, and so I decided, now this kit, it has has a patterns in here to make 12 characters. Uh, those right there. And those right there. <laughs> and then it had in here, well, in here it had um, yarn to make... Uh, the yarn, the stuffing, a hook, um, actually two hooks, and everything that you need to make uh, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and Woodstock. And so I decided to make Charlie Brown since he was the first one in the book and, and had the yarn in there to make it. Okay, well, I started working on him. For one thing, if you looked, well, it, it calls for a worsted weight yarn, which I'm surprised because most of these kits call for DK weight yarn. Uh, but if you look at these, I, see how it just seems like the texture of their, what's the parts that like is their skin, that it's uh, got lots of holes in it, you know, and, and it just, it's, it didn't to me look fine, you know, it just kind of looks coarse, I don't know, just kind of, just not, not as nice, I guess. So I, what I decided to do, well, I started working on his head. And, oh, and it calls for bigger hooks because it says it's worst weight yarn. So, it in the kit, let's see, I think they're still strapped in here. Yeah, in the kit, it called for, it has a four millimeter and a five millimeter crochet hook. And uh, I thought, man, that's kind of big because usually in these kits, the, the, the hook that I usually get is like a 3.25 millimeter, something like that. Uh, I have one kit. I think it was that Kawaii kit that had, was a 3.5 millimeter hook that was inside. Well, so I was surprised, kind of surprised at that, but I went ahead and, and well, did I, did I use that one? I'm trying to remember. I think I decided that the four millimeter hook just sounded like it would be really big and it would leave big holes, you know? And so I decided to use the yarn that was in here but I decided to go down hook size. I think I went down to really small. I think, I'm trying to remember, 2.5 millimeter. That's what I ended up using. And it, it, the yarn that came in here, really, I don't think it's, it didn't seem to me like it was worse to weight yarn. It seemed like it was DK weight yarn. And so, uh, so anyway, I started on the head with the yarn that was in here. But then I was thinking, well, I'm going to do the other characters. And I was thinking that maybe I should um, use some of my own yarn for the skin color, just because that way, with some of these other ones, you know, they would they would kind of match, you know. Uh, and I know I didn't have any more of that particular color, so I ended up using this. Oh, and I also decided that I was going to use DK weight yarn in these characters instead of using worsted weight. So I ended up using this for the skin. Uh, for Charlie Brown skin. Uh, it is Antique White uh, Bernat Softy Baby. And so I thought, well, I'll just keep this in here with the kit. And um, any, and now some of these have a little bit, like like Franklin, you know, I'll use a different color for his skin. And some of them seems like their skin color may be a little bit different. But I was thinking that for a lot of them, I would just use this one. And that way they it look a little bit more uniform, like part of the set, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, and also the, the yarn that came, came in here is very scratchy. Um, here was the yarn. This is the yarn and it, it's very scratchy and kind of hard to work with. I don't know if it's got wool in it or not, but anyway, I decided this is softer. This is nicer to work with. I'm going to use this. So I used this and now I did use the yellow and it's really scratchy too, but I went ahead and used the yellow for his shirt. And I used, I think I used my own black. Or did I use this black? No, I think I used the black that was in there. Anyway, 
I finished him. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you. Oh, another thing though, all of these call for French knots for the eyes instead of safety eyes. And I don't like making French knots because I'm terrible at it. Probably because I haven't practiced enough to get good at French knots. And so I thought, well, I have all these safety eyes and I do have some that are really small. And so um, I got my safety eyes out and I have some that are five millimeter that I had to get, I think it was for that nativity set kit that I have or, or that I did. So I, I tried those and it seemed like the eyes were a little bit too small for that. And so then I tried my six millimeter eyes and they worked. I think they're a great size. So instead of French knots, I'm just going to use my six millimeter safety eyes. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do with all the, well, most of these, I think they're all except for like Marcy, he's, she's got glasses, but anyway, uh, that's what I did. And so here is Charlie Brown. I think he turned out really good. I even got the little hair on the top there that I stitched on with some embroidery floss that was in the kit. So there is Charlie Brown and I got his little zigzag um, design on his shirt. And I did actually try to put some laces on his shoes. But yeah, I think he turned out really cute. Um, he measures... Um, let me see. I think it's, I want to say three inches, but let me check again because I don't remember if, if that's right or not. No, he's not three inches. He's four inches tall. Yeah. He doesn't stand up by himself, I don't believe. Uh, I'll have to lean him up against something. But anyway, there's Charlie Brown. <laughs> so 2.5 millimeter hook. I wrote it in the book. So that way I'll use the same hook size. And I'm going to be using DK weight yarn instead of worsted because I think even using worsted, they were going to end up being like five inches tall. And then I was thinking, well, that's going to be, you know, larger. Uh, and I'm thinking, where am I going to put them, you know? And so I just thought that this, these just, it looks better. The smaller hook, look at the texture. See, it doesn't leave like really a, a lot. It doesn't leave holes <laughs> like the other. And I just think the texture just looks nicer you know not so coarse looking i guess i'm what i'm trying to say anyway so there's charlie brown so now that i have finished with him that means i'm going to put this kit up i've got a, a plastic box here that i'll just keep all these things in there and then I will, um, it's time to draw something else and we'll see what the next thing is. Now, of course, if I pick a, the Snoopy kit paper, cause I did put it back in here. If I pick it again, then I will just put that back in and pick something else. So that way I don't work out of the same kit two times in a row. Okay, so let's see what it's gonna be. And just as a reminder, these things that I have put in here are, are kits that I have that I haven't worked in that I've collected, you know, either been gifted to me or I've bought them. I've never done any of them. Uh, also some, some whips that I haven't been working on in a long time to try to get it finished. That's why I called it Finish It Friday because some of this stuff is whips that I'm trying to finish up, but then some of them are kits that I haven't worked in. So, okay, let's go. Let is, let's draw out one and see. what it's gonna be hmm ah, crochet food so that means I need to get my my book out I don't know if I've got them do I have them laying up here mm. hang on just a minute let me get the book okay so I have three books here and all I also have though some crocheted food items I think that I've got patterns bookmarked um, on my computer also but I had these three books this one is crochet cafe this is when I made that remember I made that burrito right here I made that one for my my grandbaby I also made him some eggs out of here um, and what else have I made I made a tomato but I can't remember if the tomato is in this kit. I mean, that book or another book, because I have this one. So this one is, yeah, Crochet Cafe by Lauren Espy. Okay. I can link these down below in the description box. I got them off of, well, I got two of these off of Amazon. This one, this one is also Lauren Espy, and it's uh, Whimsical Stitches, which I think quite a few people have this book. There is some uh, food in here, some donuts and um, 
here's a peach right here. I have this marked. Maybe this is, oh yeah, there's, that's the tomato that I made. Yeah. And that's when I told you that I had, I had the tomato finished and I had it on the table. And when my grandbaby walked in and saw it and he saw it right off and he knew exactly what it was. He said, Mimi, you made a tomato? <laughs> it was really cute. So yeah, the tomato, but there's other things in here. Um, let's see. You know, pineapple, there's a peach, I showed you the peach, um, onions right there, <laughs> oh, and the eggplant, yeah, <laughs> anyway, there's, there's a few, a uh, few things, I, oh, and strawberries and blueberries, I know that my daughter-in-law was wanting me to make some strawberries and blueberries, so maybe I'll make, that's maybe what I'll make, um, since I drew crochet food out of the bucket. Anyway, I had this book and then I also had this book and this book actually was sent to me by a viewer. So thank you so much. And so this is hooked on amigurumi and there's like some sushi and there's a pepper bottle right there and uh, some soy sauce, a little soy sauce container. And there's like a popsicle right there and there's a jar of peanut butter. So yeah, I've got this book. I haven't done it. I don't think I've made anything out of this book. Peanut butter and jelly, I think I saw. Anyway, so I'm going to... Um, Pick out, pick out a food item and figure out which one I want to make. I do know that Kim, which one of my viewers on here, hi Kim, she sent me a link to a pattern that she found for some waffles, a stack of waffles with some butter and syrup that stitched on the top. And my uh, grandbaby, because while well, I was talking that in one of these books, I think it's the Crochet Cafe book, it's got um, some crocheted pancakes. And uh, I had mentioned that those, I thought those pancakes were super cute, but I believe that my, my, um, grandbaby is more familiar with waffles than pancakes. And then she, so she was so sweet. She looked up and found me a waffle pattern. <laughs> and so she had sent the link to me in an e email. And so, um, maybe I will work on do the waffles or either that, or I'll do some of those strawberries and blueberries. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so that is what I'm going to be doing for this next week is some crochet food. And I will go ahead and put it back into the container because that way I can draw it again sometime. So, that's I guess that's it for Finish It Friday. Thank you so much for watching and thank you um, for all your sweet comments. Everybody's making such nice comments about how they're enjoying this Finish It Friday. Uh, check out Rebecca of Rebecca's, uh, I mean, of Yarn and Pajamas. She's doing a Finish It Friday also. I already watched her video for today, and she's doing a great job with her projects. Um, so, in, in those other ones, I'm sure that you, that commenters, I have a, had a few that said they're doing a ver, their own version of Finish It Friday. And so, uh, I'm sure that you're doing wonderful on your projects as well. Let me know down in the comments how you're doing if you are doing a finish it Friday or just what you're working on or what do you plan on working on this weekend are you going to start a new project <laughs> um and um I guess that's it have a nice weekend and um I think I'm going to make a video on Tuesday about the um the granny square bag the for the I Heart grannies collab that I'm doing with Seta and Rebecca and Ella and I think on Tuesday I'll do a, an update on that so you can be looking for that video besides that then of course crafting with friends on Wednesday and I'll let you know what I'm gonna be doing over the weekend if anything exciting happened and um, let's see what it, oh and and just I'll go ahead and mention in this video again that if you are interested in that granny bag granny square bag pattern if you're having trouble with the getting that granny square bag pattern um, for some reason, I don't know, they're having trouble with, with, uh, getting, uh, subscribed to that newsletter to get that pattern. I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the website are having some issues. I don't know, but it's a free pattern. So if you want the pattern, just send me an email down below. And I mean, no, not down below. My, my email is below in the description box, but send me an email and I'll just send you the screenshot picture of the pattern. So then you can have it either to do it now, or if you just want it for later future use. Um, I, I have no trouble doing that, doing that. I'll do it for, you know, I'll send it to you. 
Um, so just want to remind you that do want to remind you that that pattern is in UK terms. So you need to, you need to take note of that and be using double crochets instead of treble crochets, what it says in the pattern, unless, unless you use UK terms, then you're, you're good to go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video. Bye.